Hi everybody, my greetings to all of you. Last week we spoke about extra canals. We would want to follow a theme every time, but here are some of the miscellaneous questions which some of our participants put across. So the first question for this episode is, can you elaborate on post operative sensitivity? Now, post-op sensitivity is quite common post root canal. It might last for three to five days and then it disappears. It's most commonly because of mechanics, that's instrumentation, sometimes because of chemicals or also because of microbial factors. All three can put together cause inflammation or, or irritation to the PDL space. So the periapical area or the lateral surface of the root may be injured. But I said there's an inflammation. So most commonly they reverse. So you need to take care of that post-op sensitivity. But also there are times when uh, I get referrals that patient is complaining to extreme cold. That sensitivity should not be mistaken. It's most oftenly due to a missed canal or um, some tissue left behind. Especially when you're doing a one visit root canal, if you're not given the kind of time it deserves and you might end up leaving behind tissue tags or fibers. And these are not loose or diffused, they have a connectivity. And that's why sometimes due to anachrosis, anachrosis is like infection from the bloodstream or from lateral spaces. You have the lateral canals, the additionals, the accessory. So from somewhere, the blood comes through, the connectivity of the nerve tissue is there and that's where the patient feels it. So you need to understand that you need to re-enter. Or at times, sometimes sealer or some medication, they also may irritate the PDL. Generally, these are reversible except the one if you miss the canal of tissue left behind. I'm okay for an idea to follow for some time. You can follow up for about few weeks, but if it doesn't disappear, then you need to re-enter. There is no other shortcut. Adding to this question, this gentleman has asked another question. Other than post-op sensitivity, how do you identify the missed canals? So what we'll understand is, first of all, you need to understand about uh, the tooth that is involved. We know a lot of teeth at least in our part of the world, has got a lot of variations. So let's understand the literature, the knowledge behind each of those two. That's very important. Like if I tell that MB2 has extra canal, it's quite common nowadays. Or for example, lower incisors having additional lingual canal or the premolar or the variation in a C shape or a radix, they're all quite common. So start expecting, accept it and expect it. So that's what it is. Next step is what? Radiography. Because we are working on a 3D picture, but it is a 2D object. I mean, it's a, we are working on a 2D picture, but it's a 3D object. So we need to understand that. So in a two dimension, you might end up missing. So my first thing is when you make an IOPA, please make multiple IOPAs, angulated. A mesial angulation and a distal angulation. This separation that you get sometimes may end up showing you that split and helping you see that extra branching or sometimes the canal goes down and disappears that also doesn't mean calcification but a split or an extra canal or sometimes when you make a radiograph your garapartha is not flowing through the center of the root that gp that we want to see it in the center is off centered which also gives you an indication that there is a good possibility there is an additional canal in the same route. If you have missed that, if you can't find it on the radiograph, you always have something known as CBCT. It's not a must most of the times, but you can also depend on that. CBCT will definitely try and help to see additional canals provided there was certain diameter. The thinnest canal, the smallest canal or so-called calcified may not be interpreted even on the CBCT. So there are limitations of CBCT. But all in all, I would say, put a combination of this 
bring in your clinical judgment that will actually help you find that extra canal that you want to look 